So this is day two of our camping trip and I've got my daughter Isabel with me. Izzy, what are we going to do today, baby? We're going to catch some fish. And what are we going to do with it? We're going to make spaghetti with it. Well, that's right. That's exactly what we're going to do. Guys, the plan for today is that we're going to let the tyres down on the four wheel drive right now. We're going to punch as far and wide as we can and we haven't eaten yet today. Well, I haven't. I'm absolutely starving. So our mission is we're going to catch the fish, aren't we? Yeah. And what's the target? What are we going to try to catch? I reckon we're going to try to target some midday tailor. So we've got a little bit of tide activity at midday. And guys, don't let that fool you. Everybody thinks that tailor needs to be first light and sunset. I'm here to tell you that that's not always the case. When you've got a bit of a, a bite activity during the day, um, especially when you've got a couple of tide changes in one day, they fire. Um, hopefully it happens for us. It might not. But if it, if it does, we're going to get lunch. We're going to cook this. What is it, baby? Spaghetti bolognese. Yeah. Okay, it's not like Nonna makes back at home, guys. So apologies to any uh, authentic Italians out there that watch me cook this. It's simply just a nice way to cook some simple fish on the beach. Takes you no time and tastes delicious. So let's get into it, Is. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> guys half the fun when you come beach fishing as you all know if you've ever done it is this have a look at this sand dunes ocean there is a fair few people around here but uh come on i'll race you to the bottom <laughs> oh you're so speedy look at this <laughs> well, i do still basically have pneumonia that's my excuse <laughs> how good is this guys unbelievable so we're in the bowl at the moment this is as good as weather gets. Have a look, not a cloud in the sky. Just an amazing place. Ledge Point, we love you. So nothing special guys, we're only chasing Taylor. All I'm looking for at the moment, instead of big dirty gutters like I would for Mulloway and things, is a little bit of reef break, which I've got just to the left here. Well, right, left, you're probably your right. A little bit of reef break, we've got a little bit of clearing between some weed, and on the other side there, it's a little bit deeper. It's really hard to see on the hole, on the camera here, but there is a bit of a hole out to the left here. So I'm probably gonna put my baits, really lightly weighted sinker, straight out in the middle here, try to avoid the seaweed see how we go if it's weeded out here we'll move up a little bit and see if there's something else a little bit further up other than that is what do you reckon we're gonna get some fish yeah excited yeah and you're gonna catch one today too aren't you yeah all right let's get out there all right guys as as usual burley is key so i want to get some pillies and a burley bag we don't want to mush those up because we mush them up all they're going to do is fall out of the holes so what i'll do is i'll get my pillies whack them in the bag like this Gotta waste them all because we need bait as well. Alright, like that in the bottom, and then just crush the pilchards up, and that's all you need to do. When the waves, I'm gonna peg this in on the beach, and when the waves wash up, what it's gonna do is just wash that scent out into the water. You don't need to put this out in the deep, you just need to get it where the waves, waves are lapping. Walk over here, baby. So, what we want, just your bag sitting here where the waves are gonna wash up onto, like this, and all it's gonna do. A little bit at a time, wash a bit of oil and, and uh, scales and things into the water, guys. That's as simple as that is. That's the ball off the bag. How simple does this get? It's just a triple swivel. I've got a uh, bit of mono leading down to that. And down to, this is just a personal preference, you don't have to do this, but it's a bomb sinker rather than a star sinker. The reason for that, we've got an easterly blowing and the weed's actually all sitting on the bottom at the moment. So that's a little bit better on fouling up the seaweed. Other than that, just a snell, double snell setup. We're gonna put a pilly on that, straight in, hope for the best. The wind's getting to me. So much. Ocean told me to catch a fish. All right, guys, great news. The southerlies just started to blow. So if we can chop up the surface of this water a little bit more than it is now, we're a better chance of getting some tailor. Those little choppers just love it when the surface chops up. So what I'm doing, just to explain it, I'm casting in between two breaks and I'm putting it right in a little sandy hole. There's reef and there's um, weed around it as well, which means 
I could get something like a nice big flathead. Um, there's even little pink snapper around here. I've caught little pinkies around about legal mark. So I'll be happy with anything. If we can put a flatty, a pinky, a tailor, even some big herring in the box, we'll then make some food. So let's get into it. That's good fish. Oh, I lost it. Ooh. Oh, no. There's fish in there now, baby. Come on, please. Get a fishy. I believe oh, in you. You got a fishy, Daddy! We got some lunch, bub. All right, guys, we've got a little hearing, so what we're going to do with this guy Woo. is we're going to take a little bit of meat off him, throw a little slab out for bait because he's a little bit hardier than a pilly. Look at the size of that herring, he's a stonker. And, um, whoops, and then we're going to try to turn him into a tailor. Can we catch some more, Daddy? Yeah, of course. I want to keep it. All right, that's what just took my toe out. Cute little guy. Izzy's going to play with him for a little bit and then stick him back in the water, aren't you? I need to put him somewhere. Yeah, I Not many tailor at the moment, but that's a trumpeter. <laughs> and little Lizzie's frothing over it. I hate these things personally. Beggars can't be choosers, baby. Let's um, let's get him back in the water and let's try and get it. what we want. Go on, you patty. Oh, it's slimy. Ugly critter, isn't he? And they got spikes either side of their head, so you got to be Ooh. very careful. He shakes. All right, we'll get him off. Let's He's get like a, a tailor. dog. He's like a dog. He shakes. <laughs> Again? It's All right, big. so we've probably found the worst ground in the world for Taylor, guys, but um, Let's try again. we're going to persist. A lot of seaweed's rolling in with that southwesterly now, and what it's done is it's kicked up these things. So I'm going to um, get this fella back. We're going to persist here for a little bit. If we get nothing, we'll move on, is all right? To our next beat. That's time to move to a new spot now. Uh, it's a trumpet again. Alright, it's time to move. That's three on the trot, babe. Yep. Oh. Well, guys, you can't win them all. Doesn't always go to plan, but luckily, we kept some herring fillets from earlier, didn't we? Yeah. So what are we going to do? We're gonna go cook them, aren't we? Yeah. So let's go up into the sand dunes. We'll get out of this wind. We'll get the burner going, and you can film me cooking a bit of spaghetti fish. What do you reckon? Good. Happy with that? Yeah. All right, <laughs> let's go. Welcome to the bush kitchen guys, how good's this? Just open up the back of the car, we've got a little burner in here, I've got a pot, we're going to get the spaghetti straight in on this pot. Now it's not a cooking lesson guys, I'm not going to stop, I can't cook for, for starters, but I'm not going to stand here and show you each individual thing. I'm just going to whack spaghetti on, boil that straight away, I've got my couple of herring fillets just here, and I've got an onion there, so I'm going to chop the onion up, I've got a little bit of pasta sauce right there. We put all those ingredients together and we've got a nice little feed. So my little cameraman, Isabel, you're going to do this? Or camera lady. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to hold the camera for me while we do this? Yeah. Yeah, are you hungry? Yeah. I know you're hungry, so I'm going to get this done as quick as possible. All right, guys, hang in there. Let's get it done. All right, so water's in. Get our spag. Gluten-free spaghetti for me, of course. Anyone that knows me knows that I'm uh, pretty highly gluten intolerant. 
and that could ruin the rest of my day if I ate the wrong one. We don't need all of that, do we? It's maybe half. How hungry are you? Do you want lots or a little bit? Lots. Lots? Okay, we'll get more in there. Mm. There we go. All right, so that fish, that's all it needs to be. Just chopped like that. So let's have a look at there. What do we got? We got onions chopped up, we got our herring chopped up, and all we got is the spaghetti on the boil at the moment. So once that's boiled, once that's ready to go, we'll um, get that on the frying pan. Sauce will go straight in. I've actually got herbs too, have a look at this. Can't go wrong with dry bolognese herbs. Like I said, all the Italians back there that like an authentic spaghetti are gonna, spaghetti bolognese is gonna hate this, but we're camping. Anything simple tastes great when you're camping, guys. I'm sure this is gonna taste good because I'm starving. I haven't eaten since what? I had one sausage for breakfast, didn't I, Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, stay tuned, guys. Well guys, as I said before, it was a little bit of a failure because we didn't get our snapper or our tailor or our big flathead, but you know what? That's fishing and the um, the reality of fishing is a little bit what we show on this channel, you know? It doesn't always go your way. But saying that, when you see how simple this dish is and how good a little herring is going to taste in a little bit of spaghetti, and once you try it for yourself, you'll know what I mean. You're going to have to take my word for it how good it is. But um. This is living, guys. I'm not stuck on the couch. I'm not sitting there just watching the world go by and watching the news and stuff. You know, it's um, we're out in nature, aren't we, Izzy? And and you had a great time, didn't you? Yeah. Catching crabs. What else did you do? Made sandcastles, dug holes. What a great day. Everyone else went into town and they did this thing called the colour run, which is uh, like they go running down the beach and get covered in chalk and stuff. But that's not our thing as it is. Yeah. <laughs> we wanted to be out here and uh, just live in the dream. This is, to us, this is heaven, guys. Um, and look, the fact that you can drive an hour out of Perth, you can even just go to Wilbinger and do stuff like this. There's good fishing all up the coast. You don't have to come all the way to Ledge Point. But what a magic place. And again, don't stress too much about this video being a little bit of a failure on the fishing, guys, because we're heading out tomorrow morning and we're probably going to get some good fish in the boat again. So stay tuned for that as well. Guys, that pasta is ready to go. So now I'm going to get this going. Get those onions fried off a bit, and then we're going to get the sauce. Old mate Barilla, if that's how you pronounce it, straight on those onions. Then the fish straight on there, and then the herbs straight on there, and we're in business. All right, so we're getting there. We got the sauce in, we got the onions going. Now we just need some herbs, don't we? It's... Mm -hmm. It looks like salsa. Is, it, is that how you make salsa? I guess. On those herbs. Herbs smell weird. They make the food taste good though, don't they? So we get that cooking really nice and hot, guys, and the fish goes in dead last. Now the rule of thumb with fish like this is you just cook it till it starts to get soft and starts to fall apart for a spaghetti bolognese like this, and absolutely perfect. All right, that's really nice and hot now, so in goes the fish. So Isabel's not a massive fan of fish and she's not a massive fan of any sort of sauce. So she's just gonna have spaghetti on its own. You're a little bit boring like that, aren't you, Bubba? Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, beggars can't be choosers. We'll let her do what she wants. I'm gonna mow into this because I'm so starving, but we are nearly there. Well, Lizzie, that was a great day, little lady. What did you think of that? Mm. It was good. Good fun, wasn't it? Full driving up. Of course, we didn't catch the greatest fish in the world, but we went full driving. We uh, we got to cook food in the bush. And I'm about to try the spaghetti. Should we do it? Uh -huh. Okay. I can't. I'm going to Mmm. You have to take my word for it. That is so good. It's so good because it's so simple. And you would... Most people would never think to cook this while you're out on the beat, on the run. And um, guys, I'm not just beating my own drum here, but you don't have to be a good cook to make stuff like this while you're out camping. So Izzy, thank you for a great day. Thanks for being with me on YouTube. You haven't done this before. What a great little session, guys. 
Hey, look, like I said, don't be too disheartened by this one because we've got plenty of good fishing action on the way. And when we're back in town, we're going to do some more episodes back in the metro area. So plenty of action ahead, guys. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.